to Metal Titans, Guardians of Metal Entertainment Worldwide. I am here with Selenals of Dimu Board Gear. Uh, thank you for taking the time to do this interview with me today. No problem. Um, how has the Darkness Reborn North America tour been going for you and the guys so far? It's been going really well. Um, we had a great turnout, um, you know, concerning the, uh, or considering the actual state of the economy right now. And, uh, Plus, there's all many other tours going on at the same time, so there's a lot of competition. But we have a great response, um, great response to the new songs, and it's been really good. Yeah, a few of the shows. I know Vancouver sold out. So yeah, that was really, uh, really cool. Really yeah. good show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with the tour name Darkness Reborn, does this symbolize anything to the band, or is it more of a personal connection to yourself or one of the other members of the band? It's uh, it's a lot of stuff. I mean, I think it's important to um, to say that it's it's about the band uh, reestablishing themselves, and uh, you know, for each new album and each new tour uh, after the new album is, of course, kind of like a new beginning. But mm -hmm. for this one, it's um, it's more so than ever, for sure. Yeah. 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 Um. Rumor has it, on the web anyway, that there's a possible chance of Dimya doing a concert with the full orchestra from the album. Is there a chance of it happening maybe this year, next year, or is there? Is it We're simply still, rumor? <laughs> no, I mean, it's a rumor, but uh, sometimes rumors are, can be true, true as well. <laughs> <laughs> we are um, definitely working on the idea of uh, putting a full orchestra show together. Uh, if it will happen, it'll be in Oslo in Norway next um, spring, early summer I think. So uh, we're just basically waiting for things to uh, to plan out uh, economically because it's a uh, it's a huge task in that yeah. area. <laughs> yeah. For so sure. um, we'll see, but we hopefully it will happen. And it will be a huge happening with the DVD recording and oh, everything. Really? Yeah. That's cool. I. Definitely let me know if you're doing it. <laughs> sure. I would love to take pictures of that. <laughs> um, with the tour with Corn in Europe, I know a lot of people said a lot of bad things about it, but aside from that, how did that tour make you feel in the sense like, do you feel Dimu Borg accomplished a lot with that tour? That remains to be seen, um, but um, what I do know is that, uh, which was also the whole point of doing the tour, was to play in front of a new audience, a younger audience, um, and every night we turn some corn fans into Dimmu fans, so that that's something that um, I'm happy about and uh, that what we hope for would happen, you know, yeah. so. Yeah, that's, that's really and cool. And there were sold out shows and who doesn't want to play for three, th four thousand people every night, you know. Yeah, no kidding. So. That's really cool though, because considering corn is such a different style, it is, but um, you know they're they're a great live band and uh, very professional, you know, and uh, and we want to be part of of tours that, um, that has that purpose, you know. It's uh, yeah, of course, it's cool to play smaller shows and small clubs as well because it has that intensity. But sometimes mm -hmm. you kind of have to try and branch out to different areas. Yeah, that's a great idea, though. Yeah. Great way to think about that. Um, with a self-titled track, Dimmu Borgir, um, what influence has brought forth a self-titled song at this point in the career? So I think it speak? was just uh, about time because that's a song that really um, speaks about the band, uh, the history of the band directly, the present and perhaps also the future. So we felt it was the, the right timing for it, you know? and. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's very symbolical, you know, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but um, musically, it has also, it really shows the, the two main dynamics of the band, which is the, the epic and majestic first half, and then the more back to basics and uh, simple structures on the, on the latter half. So. Yeah. The song yesterday, listening to it when you guys were in Vancouver, it was amazing. Cool. I love it. I love, well, the whole set was amazing, but still, that's one of my it's, favorites it's a, right it's now. It's a fun song to play live as well, yeah. yeah. It's very catchy, you know. Yeah. Um, with Snowy Shaw from Therion being featured on numerous songs on the album, how did that come across having Snowy Shaw 
being the voice that part of this album was it just you guys were friends and you thought this would be a good idea or was it more something discussed over many many months? No, it was more we've you known each other for many years, you know, and uh, uh, of course uh, you can play bass as well, so oh, cool. why not combine them? You know? Yeah, makes sense. Yep. <laughs> um, with the book of the book of law from Alistair Crowley, um, what personal attraction do you have to this book, and what? Um, how did that make you feel putting these thoughts into Dima Borden? It's not only that book, but I think it's more um, the whole um, concept of, of Crowley's works and, and writings, you know. It's, um, it's something that I've taken inspiration from for many, many years. Um, and, you know, when I was younger it was a bit different because I approached it in, a, in an awestruck type of way, you know, but now when you get older you really, really comprehend more about what it's all about yeah. and so I feel extremely close to a lot of the stuff that he's, uh, he's on about and uh, I think he uh, has done a lot for the so-called common man when it comes to uh, magic and the occult and uh, so it's, it's very easy to draw inspiration from, from what he's all about. Yeah. Um, when the promo photos were unleashed, there was a lot of discussion over MySpace and everything about they're in white instead of the typical black with the spikes and stuff on the belt. Mm -hmm. um, was this just a random, we should totally go a whole new direction with Dimu, or is it more of like a rebirth with the white symbolizing something much more than Both, that? Both, I would Both. say, and uh, after all, we come from the cold north as well, so mm -hmm. it's... Uh, it can symbolize a lot of stuff, um, you know, just a new beginning, uh, yeah. a renewal, so... Yeah, it's a fantastic idea. I, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a bold move, for sure, because in the, in the metal industry business, there's, or the fans <laughs> are sometimes very conservative and not too open for change right away, but um, mm -hmm. in a year from now, no one is going to talk about it. Yeah, no. So. It'll just be photos that people will look at. Right. Like it's from the um, from the album ever, to ever, right? Exactly. Um, was there any particular artistic approach to what ideas? Because I noticed live, the back of your coat has like a spinal cord thing mm -hmm. on the back of it. Was there any artistic approach or ideas that inspired you for the out for the gear? <clears throat> not, uh, not really. I mean, I am my. Costume. I wanted that to represent partly what I feel close to, um, you know, the, the American natives, um, the pagans, and uh, I also have like some kind of attraction to, you know, Attila the Hun and mm -hmm. the Mongolians and stuff like that. So I yeah. wanted to combine all these things, you know. Yeah. And, it's really difficult to do that in, into one costume, but uh, I'm happy about how everything turned out. Yeah. And, uh, Did you each get to pick your own design for the costume? Oh yeah, we, yeah. We, we, uh, we had all the ideas ready, you know, and then we uh, worked it out together and, and yeah, it turned out really cool. That's, that's great, they look amazing. Yeah, it looked different at least, you know. Um, the mask in the recent video, Gateways, and is also on stage as well. Um, it's a phenomenal piece that's on stage, but um, what made you decide on the Elder Gods of H.P. Lovecraft, and how do you see the Elder Gods in your eyes? Um, it's kind of like, um, I, I see them as our watchers, you know, that's mm -hmm. uh, definitely um, something that comes to mind, and um, we worked out some of those ideas with, uh, with you Kim too, our uh, designer, and um, the mask is also uh, uh, kind of like uh, a prolonging effect of, of Shagrat's uh, makeup style as well, so yeah. it combines, you know, moving over to a, a different side or, or whatever, you know, so we just wanted to make something really mystique and, and ancient type of feeling. You know? Yeah, it definitely stands out because most bands don't have something like that on a cover and even 
We want a simple stage. cover as well, and, and something that's kind of eye-catchy and uh, not too many details on, until you really hold it in your hands, and then you see more of the, the details. Yeah. yeah, that's really, it's a great piece. Um, how was the experience working with all the different orchestras? Well, we only worked with one orchestra, but uh, that was amazing because um, they were so professional and so well prepared. Um, it just were done in a matter of a couple of days, I think, and uh, it turned out to sound much better than we could have hoped for. And uh, so the challenge, of course, later was to to get all the levels right and to mix it together. That's 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 part of uh, the production. And, Sometimes you have to compromise here and there, you know, but uh, it was just awesome. It was good to do it at home in Oslo as well, because in the past we've gone to uh, Sweden and to Prague to do the orchestral bits, you know, but now we did it at home, so that's cool. <coughs> do you have a favorite orchestra that you've worked with so far? Oh, the Finland is a Norwegian radio orchestra. Yeah. Yeah. They, they beat everything that yeah. I've been <laughs> close to. <laughs> well. Thank you, Salonos, for taking the time to conduct this interview for MetalTitans.com. Uh, before we finish, is there anything you would like to send out to the fans for future plans of Doom Order? Well, it's, uh, we're working on uh, doing more touring for this album, and uh, uh, we just hope that uh, the fans will continue to support us. And um, yeah, it's, we're really grateful. Awesome. Tusen takk. Vær så god. Vær så god.